guys, this is G1 Devastator back with another show and tell video on the 1998 Beast Wars Basic Class Quick Strike. And here he is. Um, so he's obviously a scorpion with a cobra head on the end of his tail. Um, his head can squirt water. So I'll show you guys right there. So you would like stick that in a cup of water, press, you know, this part, and then, you know, you could squirt water. Um, so if like you were playing with him, um, it would be a cool little feature. Uh, the majority of his body is this translucent uh, yellow color, um, and it's even featured on a little bit of the cobra head as well. Um, and as you can see, he's super articulated. He does have some uh, opaque brown on him. So like the majority of his tail right here, the um, arms of the shoulders of the pinchers uh, have opaque uh, brown parts and then his legs as are um, also opaque orange. You can see that his tail is very articulated and let me turn this around here like that um, so you can see all these multiple ball joints here um, so that's basically his whole tail I mean it's really really bendy like that and um, so yeah you can it uh, it's super poseable um, you can pose his tail lots of different ways his tail actually becomes one of his arms in robot mode um, and so it allows you to you know use your imagination to you know do like a strike pose or you know something like that um, when he's in robot form down here are his pinchers um, and now these will become his legs in robot mode so actually the pinchers will open all the way like this so they actually are feet um, but, you know, if you were a kid and playing with him, I mean, you could open and close his pinchers, like, you know, pick something up with him, carry him, all that good stuff. Um, his head in beast mode, right here, can move up and down like that. It cannot move side to side or anything else like that. It's just up and down. Um, his robot head, which is right here under his body in beast mode, it's actually on a ball joint, so uh, it's super poseable. I mean, you can do up and down a little bit. Definitely do a 360. Definitely do, you know, turn it right to left. So it's super poseable. His legs um, are super poseable as well. Um, you can bend him at the knee. You can bend, uh, bend his foot uh, or his claw like this. It becomes his foot. So his feet are super poseable as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and transform him. Uh, that way uh, you can see what he looks like. Uh, for me, my favorite is his beast mode like this. Um, just because I think he looks cool. For me, he looks a little bit weird um, when he's in robot mode. And I will show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to fold up his legs here because those are actually going to be his uh, arm. And I'm going to turn his head where his head is right here, and then I'm just going to fold his body down, and there we go. So this is his super poseable arm now, instead of his tail, and then you have this weird uh, hand, arm, hand thing going on here. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This is one of the things I think looks weird. Um, or a bit odd. Uh, it reminds me of like yard rakes, you know, or like those uh, those uh, play sand rakes, you know, when you were kids at the beach, you had the little rake in the pail, uh, you know, to build sand castles. So it's a little weird to me. Um, also, oh, let me open up his feet down here. Uh, also, I did want to show you guys another thing that is odd, quirky, or funny, however you want to 
view it, but you will notice down here his beast head becomes his crotch. So, yeah, that's a little bit weird. So, yeah, that's why I say to me he looks a bit odd. This, this hand here and the fact that he now has his, you know, animal face or whatever on his crotch is just, I don't know. It's a little weird, but he's really easy to transform. Um, he is a basic figure, so, I mean, I would expect nothing less. Um, so, uh, let's talk about price. Um, so, right now, I was doing a little research in, uh, on the, what he's going for right now, anyway. Um, he's going to set you ba uh, back about $25. Uh, for a complete version like this and when I say complete he even has like you know the jaw that's attached to his um, you know to the to the snake head and then also the balloon where you can you know soak up water a lot of them don't have these two things anymore but for him for a complete one like this you're looking at 25 bucks um, I probably would only pay like 15 for this figure um, and, I mean, if he was somebody that you were crazy about as a kid, you know, I mean, he's like one of your all-time favorite Beast Wars, you know, Transformers, I would say, you know, I would recommend picking him up, but if not, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please show your support and subscribe. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.